Today we're going to be looking at how to find the range of a stem and leaf plot. As we can see on the left hand side here, we've been provided a stem and leaf plot and we're being asked to calculate the range of this data set. Now as we can see up top here highlighted in yellow, the range is going to be the spread of data from the lowest to the highest value. Now in order for us to calculate the range of this stem and leaf plot, First, we need to make sure that we understand how to properly read this stem and leaf plot. Well, if we look to the bottom of our stem and leaf plot, we can see our answer key, which tells us that a stem of 3 and a leaf of 1 is going to be equal to 31. So now that we understand how to read this stem and leaf plot, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate our highest value in our stem and leaf plot. So first we're going to find our highest stem, which in this case is 5, and we're also going to find our highest leaf, which in this case is 9. So that means that our highest value is 59. Now we're going to find our lowest value here, so we're going to find our lowest stem, which in this case is a 2, and then we're also going to find our lowest leaf, which in this case is also a 2. So that tells us that our lowest value here is 22. Now in order for us to calculate the range here, we're going to subtract our lowest value from our highest value. So we're going to subtract 22 from 59, which is going to give us 37. So that means that our range for this data set is equal to 37. So hopefully by now you understand how to find the range of a stem and leaf plot. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.